Welcome. Let's see what it is for and how to use this medicine. Ciprofloxacin, 500 milligrams, film coated tablets. We start with a general summary and then we will add the full package leaflet. First of all, follow the instructions prescribed by your doctor, pharmacist or nurse. Subscribe to the channel to receive new content and find us easily. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. Ciprofloxacin is an antibiotic belonging to the fluoroquinolone family. Ciprofloxacin work by killing bacteria that cause infections. It only works with specific strains of bacteria. Ciprofloxacin is used in adults to treat respiratory tract, recurring ear, or sinus infections, urinary tract and genital tract infections in men and women, gastrointestinal tract and intra-abdominal infections, skin and soft tissue, bone and joint infections. To prevent infections due to the bacterium Neisseria meningitides, anthrax inhalation exposure. Ciprofloxacin is only used in children and adolescents under specialist medical supervision to treat lung and bronchial infections in children and adolescents suffering from cystic fibrosis, complicated urinary tract infections, including infections that have reached the kidneys, and anthrax inhalation exposure. Antibiotics are used to treat bacterial infections and do not treat viral infections such as the flu or colds. Do not take ciprofloxacin tablets, if you are allergic reaction to ciprofloxacin, to other quinolone, or any of the other ingredients of this medicine, listed in section 6. If you are taking tizanidine, see section 2, other medicines in ciprofloxacin tablets. Talk to your doctor or pharmacist before taking ciprofloxacin, if you have ever had kidney problem. If you suffer from epilepsy or other neurological conditions. If you have a history of tendon problems during previous treatment with antibiotics. If you have myasthenia gravis, a type of muscle weakness. And, if you have heart problems. Tell your doctor immediately if any of the following occurs while taking these ciprofloxacin tablets. Your doctor will decide whether treatment with ciprofloxacin needs to be stopped. Tendon, muscle and joint pain in the upper and lower limbs, difficulty in walking, abnormal sensations such as pins and needles, tingling, tickling, numbness or burning, paresthesia, sensory disorders including impairment of vision, taste and smell, and hearing, depression, memory impairment, severe fatigue, and severe sleep disorders. Tell your doctor or pharmacist if you are taking, have recently taken or might take any other medicines. Do not take ciprofloxacin together with tizanidine, because this may cause side effects such as low blood pressure and sleepiness. It is preferable to avoid the use of ciprofloxacin during pregnancy. If you are pregnant or breastfeeding, think you may be pregnant or are planning to have a baby ask your doctor or pharmacist for advice before taking this medicine. Do not take ciprofloxacin during breastfeeding because ciprofloxacin is excreted in breast milk and can be harmful for your child. Ciprofloxacin tablets may make you feel less alert. Some neurological adverse events can occur. Therefore, make sure you know how you react to ciprofloxacin tablets before driving a vehicle operating machinery. Swallow the tablets with plenty of fluid. Do not chew the tablets because they do not taste nice. Do try to take the tablets at around the same time every day. You can take the tablets at meal times or between meals. Do not take ciprofloxacin tablets with dairy products, such as milk or yogurt, or with calcium fortified juices, because it will seriously affect the uptake. Your doctor will explain to you exactly how many ciprofloxacin tablets you will have to take as well as how often and for how long. This will depend on the type of infection you have and how bad it is. The treatment usually lasts from 5 to 21 days, but may take longer for severe infections. Tell your doctor if you suffer from kidney problems because your dose may need to be adjusted. Common side effects. Nausea, diarrhea, joint pains and joint inflammation in children. Uncommon side effects. Joint pain in adults, fungal superinfections, decreased appetite, hyperactivity or agitation, headache, dizziness, sleeping problems, or taste disorders, vomiting, abdominal pain, digestive problems, increased amounts of certain substances in the blood, transaminases and, or bilirubin, rash, itching, or hives, poor kidney function, pains in your muscles and bones. Do not keep and reuse this medicine. Do not throw away via wastewater or household waste. Ask your pharmacist how to throw away medicines you no longer use. 
These measures will help protect the environment. For complete information on the use, warnings and contraindications of this medicine, see the full package leaflet, coming next. Is this video useful to you? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. We will be glad to hear from you. Now we will see the complete package leaflet.